Howdy, all of you delicious people. I had noticed, uh, currently at the second of this recording, the movie The Money Pit is currently on Netflix. I was like, oh my god. Uh, I was just kind of crazily scrolling through and saw that The Money Pit was on Netflix. And I'm like, yay, hopefully a lot more people could find this movie, watch this movie, and enjoy this film. God, is this movie just so hilarious, funny. There's several points where, like, Tom Hanks doesn't have to sell you with words. He just has to visually do expressions that are just so hilarious. And you can't help but laugh um, going on into watching just Tom Hanks just work his magic. So... I'm going to let you know about this movie in a very cryptic-like sense. Then eventually we'll give you a double five time count and then we'll go into spoilers. So what is this film if people do not know what the money pit is about? If you have not seen this movie, you need to go out of your way to see this film and enjoy it. And just freaking laugh your way through this entire film if you've never seen it before. Because good God is it funny. Um... Reasonably, we have a movie that is simply about uh, two characters named uh, Walter and Anna. So ultimately, these two characters are uh, wanting to buy a house. They're kind of looking around. They end up finding this really nice looking house from this lady uh, that is ultimately... Uh, seemingly as much as possible giving up her house because, uh, her, I think her husband had died from what I remember. So, this woman's giving up her house for a reasonable price. Uh, ultimately you have Tom Hanks, this character that is ultimately, uh, willing to try to figure out how to come up with the money, uh, to be able to get said house and this and that because ultimately he works uh, with all these bands and stuff like that, he's like their, um, their like lawyer and stuff of their their bands. Um, ultimately, we have Anna, who is ultimately a musician that is ultimately being um, musically instructed by her ex, uh, her ex Max. Which ultimately there is a lot of commingling of Max in this movie, and Max is freaking hilarious. <laughs> like, um, like there's a lot of times when he comes in here and uh, and this and that. But again, most of the thing is completely one hundred percent sold by Tom Hanks because this guy goes through like so many pitfalls and so many things going on with this movie okay so tom hanks and anna end up getting suckered into uh this house from a person that is uh kind of leaving it because because ultimately she is uh finding uh or wanting to just kind of give this house away so they end up going into this home they're like at first they're just like oh man like yeah this is this is great but the more that they go into this home the more that they ultimately start to realize is that this home is really really not quite what it what they think it is like at some point this house completely falls apart <laughs> I mean completely. Like, at one point, even the stairs starts to, like, basically starts to, like, completely disconnect to the point where Tom Hanks has to crazily, like, run up the stairs before the stairs actually, um, like, falls out. Completely falls out. And... He is on the very razor edge of the steps and like Anna is trying to grab him, but he accidentally like falls over and falls back onto what was his stairs. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, Walter. And he's like, 
He's like, and he's just like, <laughs> it's just uh, like there's so many good points of this uh, of this movie. This house eventually gets to the point of looking so horrible and so disheveled and whatever that they ultimately have to keep asking uh, if um, like nukes were tested there or like. Uh, you get to the point where, like, Tom Hanks is coming back to his home, and he's like, home, crap, home. <laughs> like, ultimately, eventually, they turn this house around and get it all fixed, but, like, right before that, like, that point, like, everything seems to be completely dismantled on this house if it wasn't already, and it seems like it's going to take a billion dollars to be able to re- uh, get this home back to where it originally was. Um, anyways, so yeah, this movie is a great film, and I'm kind of cryptically, uh, kind of, or very overly generically talking about a lot of stuff because there's a lot of fun things that I can talk about in the spoilers. Uh, God, there's some... And ultimately, there's kind of like this big, uh, there's this big story where we're just kind of like, we're starting to see Walter and Anna um, rip apart like their home is. And maybe they're hoping that if fixing this home could, could mend their relationship back together and, and this and that. So... Yeah, just kind of a very, just kind of a very interesting movie. I really, I really, I really loved it. I really, really just like, man, this movie is so much fun to watch. It's a lot of just uh, funny, goofy characters that kind of pop in here and there. Um, you have some guys uh, that are construction workers or, or guys that are like, uh, God, what is it like, uh, like carpenters and plumbers and everything like that, where there's only like one kind of plumber that they could get to fix things. And so they really have to go and they have to kiss their feet and this and that. Uh, I think, uh, like a carpenter or plumber, like tries to kind of like, uh, put the moves on Anna and ultimately she's just like, no, like, like, no, like, I, like, 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 you're a sleaze bag, and she ultimately kind of throws him out, and then, um, Tom Hanks is like, uh, who are you? Because <laughs> he just kind of walks in, and he's like, oh, yeah, I think he's like, uh, I think it was the plumber, maybe, and Tom Hanks just goes, oh, you're that guy, and so, ultimately, like, Tom Hanks gets him back into the car, get back, gets him back into the home, and she's like, what are you doing throwing him? Like, I threw him out. And he's like, yeah, but sadly, he's like the only, like, plumber in town that would kind of take us um, at the price that we were reasonably having, uh, reasonably having. And to the point of the girl, to where he ultimately, like, to where she says, well, yeah, I guess I, really, I should really start flirting with him or whatever to get the price down and, like, this and that. And it's just like, yeah, like, that's that's the whole thing. So... It's, it's kind of, this is a hilarious movie. I really, I really enjoyed it. I really just thought it was a really fun uh, overall movie. I hope if people have never seen this movie, they go out of the way to see it for the first time. Because uh, it's well worth watching. It really is. Uh, I was just kind of so ecstatic to just go, oh, okay, here's Netflix now that has this movie. So everybody should be able to go and, and check it out if you haven't already, or if you already have, and you're just like, yeah, get to the spoiler point already, and reflect on all these funny things that happen in, in this movie. So I think it's about the time to get there. So let's go into spoiler time. Yeah. Um, this is kind of one of my favorites. It's kind of one that I had for a very long time already in my collection of movies. Um, so yeah, comparing this to, uh, so many other Tom Hanks movies, like The Burbs, which is fairly an old Tom Hanks film. Um, just kind of like, I liked a lot of, uh, just kind of a lot of early 
Tom Hanks stuff because I think reasonably, um, like he started out like trying to go back and doing a lot of like comedies because considering he started out in Bosom Buddies, uh, like where that was a comedy, like I guess he just like really thought that that's like who he should have been, um, was just a comedic actor. But then he just really, I guess, realized that it's like, oh, you guys don't need me to be a comedian? Okay, well, I guess I'll just do whatever. And he just kind of branched out and do all, did all kinds of movies and this and that. So let's go into spoiler time. Spoiler time, it's about that time again to spoil this movie. So ultimately now you have probably known all full well uh, Tom Hanks eventually, uh, has a number of different clients. Uh, at one point there was, uh, this one band that dresses in drag and wanted to be called Meryl Streep, but they can't be called Meryl Streep because there's an actress named Meryl Streep. Uh, but they, like, they thought, like, well, like, why can't we be called, like, Meryl Streep? Because ultimately, like, like, I think that she would, um... Like, I think the actress would love it that we're, like, being named after her. Like, I think she would love it. And, and Tom Hanks is just like, no. Like, you've you've kind of already uh, pre-built up a name that you kind of have, have had. So, like, and then plus, like, no, you're not going to call yourselves Meryl Streep. Um, anyways, we eventually get down to the point to where eventually uh, Tom Hanks does has a really does have a really young client that ultimately um, he eventually goes to for money. And funny enough, uh, the like Tom Hanks goes into this rant against this kid where it's just like he he told he tells him that he saved him like a ton of money and or made him a lot of money and that ultimately if uh if he doesn't help him then he will no longer be his friend uh like something as simple as that and like the kid eventually just kind of like just gives him a check and and, say, and he says thank you uh so we end up uh like i said we go into this this home and basically the more these people go into this home every single thing just completely crumbles in on them uh like i remember like there's going to be a lot of like remembering it's not going to go through like the whole entire like span of which happens in the movie but here's some random tangential things that happen during this movie so they end up sleeping at one point and they like they realize that it's really cold so they end up like lighting the fireplace. Tom Hanks lights the fireplace. The entire fireplace just starts to all just crumble down and you're just seeing like Tom Hanks just like looking at the fireplace and then like <laughs> he's like back and forth just like He's just consistently, like, repetitiously, like, watching the entire fireplace fall down. And and he's just like, eh? Eh? And he's like, what? <laughs> he's, like, staring back at the fireplace. And then by the end of this entire fireplace falls to the ground, um, uh, he goes back to bed with, with Anna. And you just see all this, like, this charcoal or smutch or whatever all over his face. And then he's like, oh, good night, honey. And they, they, uh, they ultimately uh, just turn out the light. At one point, Hannah, or Anna, ultimately is uh, looking to sell uh, this, uh, sell this framed uh, photo to max because or this painting to max not this photo a painting to max um because ultimately that's her way of getting um getting money for this home and ultimately it eventually leads to 
to them somewhere down the road of the movie, uh, ending up having to have dinner with one another because Max is consistently um, like, how about you have a drink with me? And, and like this and that, it's like, why, why don't you like, like, I'll only, I'll only, I'll only uh, give you this money if you go and have a drink with me or whatever. Cause he's consistently like, he's consistently basically like telling her that, that she should just end back up with him because they had so much fun and this and that. And so anyways, and then they could dance all night and they could listen to Beatles and, and all this stuff. So anyways, so at some point in this movie, uh, there's also other things that go horribly awry. It ends up that they just try to otherwise, um, like there was one point where they do something in the kitchen. They try to turn a light switch in the kitchen. All of a sudden, the entire... Like, the entire, like, uh, light fuse, like, right where this, like, this light switch was, all of a sudden you see this entire burning thing going all around this entire room of where this cord had bizarrely caught on fire. And it's going throughout this entire house, and every single time that this um, electrical wire or whatever connects um, to some like out like outlet where um where ultimately you find out that like there's an appliance attached to this all of a sudden the appliance basically like uh explodes and so ultimately when uh this cord thing starts or when this electrical like fire thing seems to keep going throughout uh this entire room eventually tom hanks crazily grabs uh, some of the stuff that's plugged in and unplugs it so that way it won't explode as well. Uh, at some point, they they have problems running water. So ultimately, they have to consistently get uh, water from this well. At some point, they have to... Uh, if the stairs hadn't completely fell and they have to get a ladder to go up and down their stairs, they eventually have to like, of course want to run a bath. So they, they get all this water and bring it up to this bath and they, they dump all this water into this bath and cause Anna wants to soak in the tub so they get all this water and they bring it up to the bath, put all this water in here, and the floor is so weak that basically the tub was not supported by the floor and the tub falls through the, the floor into the next room. And Tom Hanks just laugh where he's like, <gasps> and he's just freaking laughing and laughing. It's like, <gasps> and it's just like this just guttural, like bizarre laugh where he's like, ha ha ha. And he's freaking just laughing and he, he can't stop laughing because the tub, like at this point, there's so many things that goes horribly wrong that this just made him bizarrely laugh. His tub falls through this this into the next room and breaks the breaks the tub and he is just busting out laughing and yeah, it's freaking hilarious. Uh there is another point to where Anna ends up um Finding this, like, uh, one of those, like, little, like, uh, kind of tiny elevators that you can only fit, like, uh, like, very small, um, uh, like, items in there. Like, if you wanted to, like, uh, like, like, of course, like, she ends up kind of, uh, like, seeing, like, this little, uh, this little elevator thing and... She ends up getting attacked by some, like, raccoon 
in this elevator thing, and I'm like, oh, okay, of course, like, basically, like, this has got to happen. So, that's kind of just one of the random scenes in this movie. So, anyways, while this entire house is falling apart, eventually, they have this, uh, all these random people start uh, coming in here to fix this entire thing. And every single time they laugh at them for buying this home. Uh, it gets to the one point where Tom Hanks uh, tries to otherwise like call somebody here consistently. Uh, and every single time there's some reason why they can't get to this person or can't, uh, uh, can't get to them. And ultimately this guy otherwise is... Like, so ticked off that he, uh, his appointments are getting met or whatever, that Tom Hanks has to keep throwing money at him until he'll, he'll actually come and he'll actually be there and this and that. So, at one point, Tom Hanks, uh, kind of is just kind of walking into this room and there's this, like, big rug in this room and so Tom Hanks is just walking into the walking through this room and ends up realizing that he's standing in this one section where the rug is starting to like like all of a sudden he's like bizarre he's like why am I like he's kind of like why am I shrinking like why am I like falling uh into this room well there was a hole cut into the room and the rug um, is making him kind of, like, slowly but surely sink into this room to where, like, you can only kind of see, like, his hands, uh, because his, like, his hands are, like, snugged into him, and, like, you can only see, like, his hands, it, like, his, his hands, and then, like, his head, and then, like, a portion of his chest, and, like, it gets to the point where he's stuck there for so long, um, that, like, he's having problems, like, uh, talking or shouting or whatever. Uh, and then eventually this guy, uh, comes down, uh, to see his home. But, of course, Tom, Tom Hanks can't get to him because he's kind of stuck in this floor. He's stuck in this floor. He can't get out. And so he's shouting out of his house to just be like, I'm right here. Or I'm like, hey, I'm like. Like, I am here, I'm not trying to evade you, I'm not trying to avoid you, or whatever. As this guy is ultimately just kind of getting more and more ticked because um, Tom Hanks isn't right by his door for him to, to whatever. So, it ends up that the guy walks away and, like, uh, and there is, like, a really funny uh, part in this movie uh, where eventually Hannah eventually comes home uh, to Tom Hanks. And, of course, he's in the floor, and she doesn't realize it. And she's like, Walter, are you home? And he's like, yeah, I'm in the den. <laughs> and, like, she goes all the way in there. She can't see him. And... She's like, I don't see you in there. And he's like, I'm in the den. <laughs> I'm in here. I'm in this room. And she's like, I didn't see you in there. Stop playing around. And he's like, I'm in here. <laughs> like, And so ultimately he's like, yeah, thank God you're home. Like at one point, like I've been in here for so long. I thought the Care Bears were here. <laughs> and like, it was freaking hilarious. And so... Ultimately, she finally, like, goes into the room that he says he's in. And she's like, where are you? And he's like, I'm in the floor behind the chair. And so she looks at him. She's like, oh, there you are. And so ultimately, she uh, starts, like, unraveling the rug uh, that he's under and basically, um, he falls through down to the floor again. And it's just like, 
God, how many to- times of t- has Tom Hanks like fallen in this movie and this and that through this film? Um, but yeah, so eventually we get to a point to where they uh, get all like uh, they get uh, this construction guy and his gang of misfits to completely annihilate and tear apart this entire house. To where there's just like this big huge landfill of just like house parts and like it's just like basically like the shell of this home and this and that and that's where like Tom Hanks walks up to his house and he's like home crap home and eventually it gets to the point to where uh more and more like Anna and Walter are, like, fighting more and more about this home because uh, one person seems to be having to do, like, a lot um, or, like, they end up, like, getting, um, like, hurt or whatever or they end up getting, um, like, something happened to them quite frequently. (laughs) Excuse me. And so they start taking it out on one another and to the point where, like, Anna, like, wants, uh, like, something, and he's just like, oh, yeah, I'll get that for you. <laughs> it's like, because he's just like, God, why do I have to do so much crap? Why do I have to try to, like, fix this home while it's falling apart? And ultimately, Anna eventually has to go with Max, goes to dinner with him. They have drinks. Um, It it eventually ends up that Anna ends up supposedly in bed with Max. And basically Max uh, wakes her up the next day and he's like, Yeah, we had fun all night. And (laughs) we played the Beatles and we made love. And... (laughs) She's like, oh, no, like, I didn't mean to do that. And so, like, I didn't mean it. Like, Walter's going to kill me. And uh, so, basically, she decides to make up a story to with Walter. And she decides to not tell him that they slept together and so ultimately Walter at some point like kind of goes to her and and he just admittedly asks like well hey did you did you sleep with him like did you did you sleep with him and she was like no why would you ask me that it's like oh yeah sleep with him it's okay like whatever uh was like it's all right and then like she's like no i did not sleep with him and so he's like oh, okay so he turns off the light and she turns it back on and she was like well um like what if i'm gonna be really honest with you and then she breaks in to tell him that um she did sleep with Max. And so Tom Hanks is just like, oh, okay, well, at least you're honest about it. And <laughs> you could start to see, like, Tom Hanks is, like, just trying as much as possible to just be nice and just be like, mm, yeah, like, yeah, I am I have a wonderful relationship. And, mm, yeah, I'm just, this is great. And just, mm, like, I, I appreciate your honesty. And, mm, yeah, thanks. And so... He, like, like they they turn out the light, and she thinks that everything's okay. He turns it back on, and he screams, You whore! <laughs> it's like, you slept with Max! <laughs> and, like, this and that, and, like, they're shouting at one another. And it ends up that, it basically ends up to where, like, Tom Hanks and, like, Anna are, like, uh, end up like uh, sleeping in separate rooms and like I think it ends up where like Tom Hanks is like sleeping on his like ping pong table or something like that 
or, or like some kind of like weird uh, bed or whatever. Because uh, there's construction guys all over the house. And at some point, um, like when they were trying to have sex, like the construction guys were looking up at them, um, which was hilarious. Uh, as well as um, like when uh, she would be uh, getting her uh, medicine out of the med medicine cabinet. Like she would have to get it from uh, one of the construction guys. Like, oh, hey, hey, construction guy, whoever his name was. Like, hey, <laughs> like they would go through like their normal day. Like, it's just like, yeah, you guys are never going to leave. Um, because ultimately, like the Tom Hanks would consistently ask this construction worker guy, the lead uh, construction worker guy, like, how long is it going to take? And he would say like, uh, like three weeks or something like that. And like, like seemingly like months and months and months later, like eventually they got done and so, yeah, we eventually have it to where, uh, like, at one point, before they got done, there was a, a one point where they were trying to really build up this house. And ultimately, uh, again, uh, Tom Hanks had to go uh, for water for his, for Anna. And ultimately, they... Uh, one of the construction workers tells, uh, tells Anna, it's like, oh no, the water is working. And she's like, what? The water's working? So she like turns on the, she, she put, she puts like a glass or a bucket or something into the, the sink, turns on the water. She's like, oh my God, water, <laughs> water. I can't believe it. And and so Tom Hanks is getting water from this little fountain because he doesn't know any better. And coincidentally, uh, ends up having some big, huge, like, freaking like, domino effect of, of all of these things. Um, and hilariously, um like Tom Hanks gets really excited about having new stairs. Um, he's like, Oh yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get some water. I'm going to use my new stairs. <laughs> and it's like, starts walking down the stairs. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> like the stairs. All right. Uh, Cause they've had to been going up and down on this ladder. Um, so eventually he gets this water and then eventually he ends up doing this like dominoish effect where he's in this like uh he's in this like wheelbarrow and and like he is all like freaking hit with all this like white stuff and he goes up and down this freaking uh thing and starts decking people eventually to uh, end up getting dropped into this little, like, uh, like I would call it like a, uh, looks like a very long, like tubish like thing. Like th it's their new, uh, fireplace or whatever, uh, kind of, that's how long this thing is. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of a funny thing, of course, but eventually once they get this whole house thing built, and this and that and like there's a lot of accidents that happen along that way while they're fixing this thing um we get to the point to where eventually this house is built and like basically it gets to the point to where okay like the the guy who worked on is like yeah it took a very long time but like she's built and so ultimately tom hanks and anna are like kind of like it's not quite sure if they want to keep the house or not or just kind of go their separate ways or sell the house now that it's all together um like it just gets to the point where they uh have to kind of realize that it's like okay maybe this is this is it for us and so Eventually, 
Walter and Anna are just kind of like, yeah, I guess, I guess this is it. So eventually Walter just comes to Anna and ultimately just confesses. He's like, he's like, you know what? Like, I think it's great you slept with Max. I think uh, the best thing to happen to our relationship is you sleeping with Max. All the while, Anna, we find out earlier that Max had come clean to Anna. That ultimately he had slept on the couch while she slept in the bed. And Anna was like, oh my god, <laughs> like you, like you lied to me, Max, like you stupid man. And ultimately, Max like tells, tells her, he's like, I only said that because I wanted you back. And like, and ultimately he, like funny enough, there's the one part where he like shows a person how to like, how to like paint. And he's like, uh, uh, like broad strokes don't fickle and, and this and that. So it ends up that Max tells Anna that uh, they didn't actually sleep together. And so Anna doesn't want to tell Walt Walter that they didn't actually sleep with one another. Um, and so that Anna has this time now to actually tell uh, Walter that they didn't actually sleep together. Um, like Max told her uh, that they didn't actually sleep together. And so ultimately the the couple wants to actually just keep the house and ultimately uh here's one thing at the very beginning of this movie we have ultimately tom hanks's father and some young uh young woman uh getting married and kind of on this like hawaiian getaway and they're kind of uh like uh calling tom hanks in this movie um to where at the very end of this movie we have tom hanks's father who is buying a house with some woman and the person they're buying the house from is the exact same woman that sold Tom Hanks's character, his house. So we're kind of expecting to um, understand where this story is going, but yeah, so Anna and Walter get back together and like, they are all just happy about it, but God, there are so many funny things that happen along the way in this movie. So that's all I wanted to talk about. There's there's so many like hilarious things going on in this movie. Such a good film. I really enjoyed it. I hope a lot of people will go out of their way to finally say that they saw this movie if you haven't already. Or reflect back onto it if you've already seen it a number of times. I've seen it quite a number of times. And there's probably some stuff here and there that I probably um didn't remember exactly or remembered or, or this and that so at the end of the day i just want to say hey check this movie out regardless if you've already seen it before check it out again but in the end i'm gonna say goodbye everybody bye everybody